We just committed $30 million to support the most vulnerable residents. That will come right now for, from the public contingency fund that we have in Harris County that we'd set out for a disaster. And this is about as close to a disaster as you get. That is $30 million hyper-targeted to the folks who most need the support and probably haven't received support from elsewhere. Okay, and is this an additional 30 other than the 15 or is it a total of 30 with the 15 that's already been committed? So in total, the county will have committed $40 million to try and mitigate the economic impact that COVID has had throughout our community. $10 million we committed and already awarded to small businesses who were suffering from COVID and now we're committing an additional 30 million hyper targeted to the lowest income, the people who are in most dire straits. Now the fund is designed very carefully. We've analyzed, uh, studied with best practices from not only around the country, but around the world about how do you get those dollars to the folks who most need it. So we're gonna be working with a foundation to administer this independently, get the dollars to uh, through nonprofits and then also through a system uh, to which individuals can apply and that will make sure that the folks who most need the dollars will get them. What's also very important is these dollars can be spent on whatever these families most need. If the need is medicine, if the need is food, if the need is rental assistance, in a way it's similar to what the federal government did. And the reason for the programs being designed that way is not only has um, years of decades of studies shown that this leads folks to spend the dollars on what they most need, but it's also a way to stimulate our economy as those expenses are being made. And any thoughts about extending the stay at home? At this point, we will be voting on extending the the, the uh, emergency, the disaster declaration. For our stay home order, we're working to update it based on the governor's latest guidance. So far and all along, my commitment has been to work with him, to work with the state. So it's just a matter of the lawyer sitting down and updating him to reflect the latest guidance. Of course, in terms of where we are right now, Harris County County continues to be in a good place because we've each done our part. Same with these relief funds. We have enough to commit right now. We've studied our liquidity, our finances. We can afford this $30 million and the additional 10. Now, if folks end up going out, getting overconfident, tempting fate and leading to a larger second spike, and then again, we have the economic fallout from that. Um, we don't have enough money to rescue, you know, to try and come, come rescue parts of the economy so many times over. So despite the steps being taken, we have to remember the virus isn't gone. We're working with our contact tracers. We already have more than 300 onboarded and supervisors to stop the virus, but we also need folks to continue doing their part and not uh, feel like this is a return to normalcy. It's not. The virus is still out there and it shouldn't be about seeing how far we can push it before um, the, the hospital admissions rate gets dangerously high again.